As they dig, the sand around them collapses. They move up as if on a rising platform until the first heads break the surface. Their instinct is to find the ocean as quickly as possible in order to survive. Once above the sand, the hatchlings orientate to the brightest part of the natural horizon, toward the waves. It's the first fundamental journey of their lives as they familiarize themselves with the magnetic forces of the Earth. Rather than just fixate on a north-south polarity like a man-made compass, the hatchlings imprint upon an inclination compass with which they can sense direction along the Earth's surface at an angle, rather than the magnetic poles. This orientation is crucial for the few that survive, and it's these inner forces of the planet that will navigate them later in life. The loggerhead hatching season lasts from December to May. Dusk, night, and dawn. Thousands of hatchlings head for the sea. But it's a perilous journey. Ghost crabs and seagulls take their pick. As soon as they enter the water, they orientate at right angles to the waves. This will help them reach deep water as fast as possible. Then they swim for their lives. Large sharks, like this tiger, are more on the lookout for adult turtles. But for schools of hungry fish, hatchling turtles make a good meal. Even though the hatchlings swim alone, often hundreds enter the water at the same time. There's safety in numbers. The egg yolk reserves give them energy for about three days, a time known as their swimming frenzy. They become lost amidst the surface clutter of the sea's movement and in deep waters where there are fewer predators. Whatever journey they make, it's estimated only one in a thousand may return.